Welcome to Sphere. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. I've certainly gone in depth in recent videos about how Uniswap v3 works, and of course how Dyson will provide users with Uniswap v3 vaults with automatic active liquidity management. One aspect of Uniswap v3 that I have not yet explained in more detail is the set price range that liquidity providers must select when creating their LP. Honestly, this is exactly as it sounds. Liquidity providers must choose a minimum price and a maximum price for their liquidity. But this is not a simple decision, because it makes a big difference for how many fees the liquidity provider stands to gain and how much impermanent loss they stand to suffer. A smaller price range means that there is less price distance between your liquidity's minimum and maximum price. Smaller price ranges more greatly concentrate liquidity, allowing for more swap fee earnings. However, it also increases the degree of impermanent loss and increases the risk that the current price moves outside of your set price range. A larger price range means that there is more price distance between your liquidity's minimum and maximum price. Larger price ranges concentrate liquidity less, meaning fewer swap fee earnings. However, it decreases the degree of impermanent loss and decreases the risk that the current price moves outside of your set price range. Using WETH and USDC as an example, Let's say we set our liquidity to have a minimum price that is 15% below the current price and a maximum price that is 15% above the current price. Using current prices, this would mean that so long as the price of WETH stays above 1,433 but below 1,923, then your liquidity would be used in swaps and you would be earning swap fees. But as soon as the price of WETH goes below your minimum or above your maximum, your liquidity will no longer be used. Additionally, as mentioned in my Uniswap v3 impermanent loss video, once the price moves outside of your LP's price range, your LP shifts entirely to one asset. If the price of WETH drops below the minimum price of your LP, your LP will contain only WETH. If the price of WETH goes above the maximum price of your LP, your LP will contain only USDC. Now, if we adjusted our LP so that instead of plus minus 15%, we set our price range to be plus minus 30%, now there is less of a risk, in the short term at least, of the price of WETH moving below 1,176 or above 2,182. So now you as the liquidity provider earn fewer swap fees due to less concentrated liquidity, but you have more flexibility of being able to earn those fees for a longer period of time before you have to rebalance your LP. One way or another, once the price moves outside of your LP's price range, as mentioned earlier, you will stop earning swap fees. This is where active liquidity management comes in, because at this point, in order to continue earning swap fees, you must remove your liquidity and create an entirely new LP around the new current price with new set minimum and maximum prices. It can certainly be difficult for liquidity providers to decide what price range to set and how frequently to adjust their liquidity so that they can balance the factors of set price range, current price, price volatility, and swap fee earnings. Fortunately, Dyson makes this easy by doing it all for you using on-chain data automatically and with LP rebalancing done all on chain, not to mention while also automatically auto compounding your swap fee earnings back into your LP. Visit us on Discord to stay up to date on announcements and join our community.
This video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are. Now, if we adjusted our LP,